Hey everybody, you're looking live on tape from another gorgeous day here in Central Florida. Today we come to you live from Italy. JK, come to you live on tape, pardon me, from Epcot. Today, we're gonna do a little scoring here in Italy and Germany specifically. I feel like I have not spent enough time in these two pavilions. It's probably my least traveled areas of these parks. Um, I had a bad experience at the pizza window one time and I kind of stopped coming back in here. But it is pretty. Um, yeah. A lot of cool Italian architecture and sculptures and whatnot. But today we're just gonna do some exploring, do some merch looking at. See, see, if I, see if I don't I've completely train wrecked this opening segment, but being one take Jake, we move forward. We are gonna head into the merch shops for both pavilions, check those out. See if we can get some, see some fancy merchandise. Maybe get something to eat. I just had a big breakfast, so I probably won't get anything to eat. Maybe a cocktail or two. Thanks for joining me, glad you did. Let's get to it. So speaking of the pizza window, it's actually open today. And if you like somehow simultaneously burnt cold pizza, this is your spot. That pizza al taglio, very popular for some reason. I'll never understand it because it's garbaggio. It's the worst pizza I've ever had. And I've eaten a ton of elementary school pizza. You do have a couple restaurants back here. You've got Tutto Italia, professional accent guy. Then you have Via Napoli Pizza. Pizzas are like 80 bucks in there, so I've, I don't think I've ever, I can't remember eating in there. So I think that's why I was looking forward to the pizza window. Like maybe like, ah, oh, get a little budget friendly. But apparently the two pizzas are polar opposite. Via Napoli is supposed to be really good. Pizza window sucks. If you have a pizza worse than the pizza window pizza anywhere at Disney, let me know in the comments. Anxious to hear your thoughts on what you consider the worst slice of pie in all of Disney. We're going to head in here. It's called... Il Bel Cristallo. I'm sure I butchered that because I don't speak Italian. Okay, it's not creepy at all. I bet those cost a fortune. Yeah, $500. Come on. Can't really touch it, but I'll leave it for another day. Very perfumey. Got some Dolce & Gabbana. Cologne and perfume. You know, one thing I have noticed as I work with more. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool, actually. It's kind of getting becoming a rarity that you see, especially World Showcase merch. What's, what's going on here? Uh oh. Houston. It's really cool. One, what's that? $100 or $70? $90, right in the middle. But that's cool. That's kind of heavy. But I do like that is awesome. Just a heads up, cast members have 40% off. I might be returning for that little guy. But, holy smokes. I bet that costs a fortune. The Gucci Mickey collab. Pretty sure if they don't have a price, I'm not gonna ask. But one thing I have noticed, we do get a lot of Europeans 
They're stylish. Dress well. They're big into brand names, I noticed. And they're not afraid to spend the money on fashion, for sure. So we're coming out of Italy now. We're going to be walking over to Germany. And again, this is another pavilion. I don't generally, I'm not a big beer drinker, so I don't really hang out. I know a lot of people, when they come to Epcot, it's a must to get the grapefruit beer and a pretzel from Germany. That's, that's high on a lot of people's to-do lists. And uh, I get it. Um, that beer, I've had that beer. It's okay, but I don't know. They sell it at my Publix. So, like, anytime I really got to have one, I don't need to spend $15 for it. I can just go to Publix and buy one. So. I do love this little train setup. Kids really like this too. Like, I remember when my kids were small, they used to stay in here for, we had to get them to get moving after like 30 minutes because they would just sit here. There's so much detail in these, in this, I can't even really call that a train set. It's, you gotta give it a little more credit than that. But even the, even the chimney's smoking. I'm all hopped up on McDonald's coffee right now. Just FYI. We're gonna head into this Germany shop. As I recall, this thing is pretty pricey as well. But here at Disney, what's not pricey, so we'll head in here and I think they have this is the beer sign of the cuckoo clock shop as I call it. We're gonna head in here and I'll check this out. Stop right there, it's fine. Yes. Man. How come? I'm getting a little madder because I did stop by the US United States gift shop and you know my feelings on that. It's terrible. Look at this. This is, I mean, it's cool for them, but look, I'm a little frustrated. Oh my God, it continues. Lug, hadn't seen that yet. Look at this. Look at this. Oh man. $20. That's one of those things where like I'd be scared to try to get that home. This is, I'm a little, a little bit sad. Look at this. got to be 40 bucks I would say 30 bucks not bad that's cool this pavilion's got its own damn hat you can't even get a t-shirt look at this magneto another one like how would you get that home this is awesome that's awesome medium hot German mustard Five bucks. I'm buying that. That's just cool. As long as I don't hope I don't break this getting home. 
I love mustard, especially hot mustard. Huh, jealous. Very jealous. But wait, there's more. Back in here, you've got beer garden. I can't, I, I can't think of eating here. Press pan machine. The artwork's awesome. That's summer's best. Is it like pretzel? Yeah, here's where you get your pretzel, your brats. What's a bread pudding? Sounds interesting. Then the Schaffer Hoffer. I'm sure that's correctly wrong. Incorrect, you know what I mean. Come on, a little quick serve back here. Then you have that beer garden restaurant. It's a buffet situation. I've heard good things. Seeing people just loading up plates in there. It's like one of those Disney restaurants I haven't been yet. But, you know. I gotta say, Germany. A lot of cool details back here. There's like a crystal shop? Now, I won't be patting stuff in here because I'd be God forbid if I'm buying some cr Oh, yeah, this is like, oh, come on. Give me two of those, please. What the price is. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, let me get two of those. This is incredible. So for $79,000. I mean, it's just on and on. get an Oktoberfest hat. Oktoberfest t-shirts. Look at this. Crazy. Through the whole 
Germany Pavilion, but that absolutely destroys the U.S. Pavilion. That's a really strong pavilion. Again, I haven't really done that, gone through and seen exactly what they had back there. I had a general idea. I've been in there, but not very much. But that was cool. And everybody, <laughs> this is a hot take, a Disney hot take. Everybody raves about that place, but everything I've ever gotten there has been stale. <laughs> so I've quit. I mean, I'm on a diet now. I can't eat it. But <laughs> I quit trying, basically. <laughs> well, I think that's going to do it for today. I hope you enjoyed our little, quick little deeper dive i won't say deep dives i'm sure there's way better informative blogs out there for you but a deeper dive for me into germany and italy thanks for joining me glad you did if you liked what you saw today make sure you hit like and subscribe and if you hated what you saw today blame the gall to ask seventy nine thousand dollars for a disney park souvenir crazy as always, folks, keep those parks clean.